Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us for this episode. Right, so we're out. It's a nice day, which I didn't think we were going to have today. And we are going to give this, the uh, Tamiya Grasshopper, this chrome, special chrome plated uh, version that was made. Uh, we're going to give it a bit of a run just so you can see it going. And then this will be heading off uh, to be displayed. Uh, so this will be heading off to uh, inside line models and it's going to end up as a display piece and it's also going to go and be displayed at the charged rc show at the end of september as well so that's a good thing about this lots of people will get to see it instead of it just being holed up in my uh, <laughs> in my uh, drawers or uh, my wardrobe where i keep a lot of my cars so it'll be good uh, for people to come and see this because it's pretty much like a one-off now, if you didn't see the original video that I did on this, it'll go into a bit more detail about how this kit came about. So I'll put a, uh, the video to link in the description of this one for you. Now, if you did see that one, since uh, I last showed you what we got done, well, we basically got the radio gear all installed. I ended up needing to do put in the servo mounts, the uh, servo saver, the track rods, and uh, we got the spot lamps on as well and we've got the little driver figure in there the little chrome driver figure I went with that one on the end I was going to get a painted one but I thought I'd keep the driver figure as the chrome one now as I said if I do get find some that become available I will change these wheels out for proper um, sort of uh, grasshopper style ones if I can find some genuine black ones if not we're going to stick with these grasshopper 2 ones I do like the colour they match with the decals quite nicely uh, motor wise, um, I just put in a spare Tamiya 540, it was the Blockhead Motors edition, unfortunately it's upside down, but uh, that's the way it is, so we put that in there, and then it's just got a, uh, the kit ESC that came with it, and it's a, is it a T01BUK I think it is, ESC, so that came with the kit, and then we were about and about, out and about, and about sort of um, mid to late 2000, so that's in there, had a Futaba servo knocking around so I've put that in nothing super flash and then I've got some 2.4 gig radio gear so there we go now I ended up not having any bearings for this build so it is has actually got the plastic bushings in but it's fine with this being a display piece really it, that's not gonna uh, be a problem thing is I don't want to start messing with it too much now it's built because I don't want to uh, you know start taking any of the chrome finish off any of the parts and I had to be really careful putting in the servo saver and the, and the uh, servo mounts that we didn't uh, take any of the uh, finish off also as well I put in a, a 7.2 volt uh, NIM battery now a lot of the ones I use are quite big because I have the uh, 5000 milliamp ones and I was really worried about it's a tight fit and I was really worried about taking the chrome finish off the battery door and everything like that so I found a uh, 2000 milliamp pack I had, it's a brand new one that came with a ready to run kit and I've put that in and there's plenty of room so I'm not scratching anything. Anyway, um, so you can see what it's like I'm zipping around, obviously you know what a grasshopper's like going around but I just thought it'd be cool to show this nice chrome one going uh, before it goes off the display. Anyway, here we go. So it's 540 powered but that is literally the only mod we've got and of course it's got those grasshopper two wheels and tyres on. Anyway, uh, let's give it a bit of a trundle. It should look lovely in the uh, the sun. Here we go. So we brought it Stanley Park again. Just a bit of flattish grass. Don't want to be taking any. Uh, chances with the finish on this. I want it to look nice and new like when it goes on display. I don't, I might have to go and put on some uh, a fresh set of wheels and tyres for it, but we'll see. <laughs> I think it looks fantastic in the uh, in the sunshine. Let me know what you think. It is hard unless you see it in person uh, to actually, you know, the camera justifies how good it looks. But uh, yeah, it is. It's not too bad at all. It does look great. It's great, like a little conversation piece. Anyway, let's uh, off again.
drained the battery door, so I've, I've put, I am putting in my usual clips in to keep it from coming on, so I'm hoping it will just <laughs> stay on for this uh, little one and only run, probably. But yeah, as you see, it drives just like a hopper, but uh, with the added, uh, that added bling factor. Just take it over there and we'll, we'll, we'll bring it back. <laughs> there you go. So, as I say, I just wanted to show you running. And uh, pick the grass back out of it. Uh, I just wanted to show you running because uh, that's what I like to do. Be able to say before it goes off on its uh, little uh, adventure being displayed. But yeah, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. It runs exactly how it should, which is good. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a cool conversation piece, really. So that's this uh, Tamiya Grasshopper, and it's like this Chrome edition that was done by a uh, previous uh, Tamiya Club member. All the details I will leave in the video description of this one. You can check out the original video I did on this. But I hope you like seeing this finished. Hope you like seeing a little dash around a bit. So now I can say it's been run and used, which is cool. And now I'm gonna to have to go and make sure it's all nice and uh, clean again and dust free for when it goes on display. Right, anyway, uh, cheers for checking this one out. Much appreciated as always. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel on YouTube at Andy Robinson RC. And also come track us down on Facebook and Instagram at Andy Robinson RC as well. I don't know which order these will come out, uh, come out in, but I've just picked up the new Tamiya MB01 M chassis as well, so that's going to be coming soon as well. Um, it might even be released before this video yet, yeah, I haven't decided, but either way, that's coming up soon as well. Right, we're going now, we've got other stuff to do. Right, cheers again, look after yourselves, take care, and we'll see you all soon. See ya!